hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here it's so weird to be vlogging i literally haven't picked up the camera in like two weeks if you guys follow me on instagram you would know i finally took the lsat if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is ivanka i'm a pre-law student in new york city so the lsat is basically the test that you take for admissions to law school i took it about a week ago now but i was just so busy doing last minute studying and preparation that i really didn't have any time to film any videos i'm finally back and i figured today i would do a college day of my life I have any plans today in particular except for class and then I think after class I'm going to a coffee shop with my boyfriend to do some studying but that is pretty much it I feel like I have so much to share with you guys because it's been so long I really apologize that I haven't uploaded if you guys are in the law school admissions process or applying to grad school or anything like that you guys know how time consuming and nerve-wracking it is but I'm so happy it's one less thing I have to worry about but anyways it's around 9 30 I have class today at 12 15 I get up really early because I like to have slow mornings. I don't like feeling rushed before class. So I think I'm actually gonna do my makeup now and maybe share with you guys how the test went and all that. Can't really say much because obviously it's a standardized exam and there are rules that you need to follow. So I'll say what I can, but let's get ready. I'm so happy because it's finally starting to cool down in New York City. If you guys live here, you know it's been like 80 degrees in the middle of October. It makes no sense. So today it's only gonna be 61. So I'm so happy I get to pull out some fall outfits get to wear my cute chunky sweaters i love fall because i just dress better when it's colder outside yesterday i actually went upstate with my family and we went to the outlets that are up there it's about like an hour and a half drive from queens so we just spent the day out there and they actually had an aritzia outlet store which i think is like the only one in the country like it's brand new it just opened a couple months ago and i was so excited because when you hear aritzia outlet you think oh my god like the prices are going to be so good I in and i was like what the heck like it's literally like ten dollars off of like the original store price i was kind of disappointed the only really good deal that i saw was the melina pants like those leather pants that everyone has been buying lately instead of 149 they're 99 at the outlet if you guys live in new york and you guys want to go to the ritzy outlet i'll put the name of the outlets on the screen it's called the woodbury commons outlet i've been going there since i was like really young but we just went for my sister's birthday because she wanted to do some shopping and i picked up a ton of cute pieces from other stores so i'll probably put like a haul in the middle of this video somewhere because I really want to share with you guys what I got. So let's talk about the test. So I took it on October 10th. So last Sunday from when I'm filming this. It honestly was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because I had been doing so many practice tests. And the software that I was using for my practice exams looked exactly like the real test. So it wasn't anything that I wasn't used to. But of course I was still freaking out. Like I was actually physically shaking because I was just so nervous. And if you guys don't know, the test is actually administered online now. So I got to take it at home. But I don't know. I'm just that kind of person. I feel more comfortable going in person. And I'll tell you guys why. Before I took the test, I was like doing a whole bunch of research on how everyone's testing experience went. Because they administer the LSAT every couple months or every month now. I don't even know. But some people were saying that the proctor site that they were using was so awful. And people were having so many problems during their exam. Losing connection and their proctor disconnecting from them. And then having to reschedule and i was just freaking out that, that was going to happen to me i took my test on a sunday like i said and the day before was actually the first day that they were administering the october lsat so people were already taking it on saturday and for some reason the lsac website like law hub went down so all the students that were scheduled to take the test on saturday either started their exam and had to reschedule or they finished their exam and then it didn't count because of the fact that law hub like went down and they had to reschedule and I was freaking out when I was seeing that. I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna have to reschedule my test for a later day. And I was just like freaking out. So Sunday morning comes and I have my test scheduled for 10.30 and I'm just trying to have like a positive outlook. Like everything is fine. I like get on the website, I connect to my proctor, I show my ID, my setup space, and thank God I was really lucky. I had a proctor that was like super nice, knew what he was doing, like there was no problem. So after like showing my workspace and like showing them my scrap paper and all that, even though I had my test scheduled for 10.30, I didn't start until like 11. So my first section was reading comprehension. I'm like going through these passages. I think I was like on the second passage. So usually they give you four passages. I'm on the second one. I'm like about to answer the questions. I had just finished reading the passage. 
and I lose connection. I start freaking out. I was like, oh my God, like, I don't know what happened, but the proctor disconnected from my screen so they couldn't see my video anymore. When you're taking the LSAT, they can see you, but you can't see them. And my green light on my webcam just shut off. They couldn't see me anymore. So they stopped my exam. My exam was stopped for a whole hour. So I'm like typing in the chat box to my proctor like, oh my God, like what is going on? Did I just lose my answers? I was really about to like cry. I was so close to losing it. And the girl that was helping me, she was like, no, like you're fine. Like she tried doing like all these things, like starting the exam, like a different browser, like on Firefox, on Chrome, like nothing was working. And finally an hour into it, she got to see my video again. I have no idea what she did, but she fixed it. And then I got to continue the rest of the exam, but it just threw me off so much and she kept on telling me like while she was trying to fix it that i might have to reschedule and i was like no like i actually cannot reschedule like i was just freaking out i was having a panic attack but after she fixed it thank god i was able to do the rest of my tests so my sections went reading comp logic games reading comp logical reasoning so my test was scheduled for 10 30 but because of that issue i don't think i finished until like around 2 30. so it took a really long time the test is only supposed to be like two and a half hours but it ended up taking me so much longer because of that issue but after the test was over i was actually brain dead i'm not even doing my makeup but I was just so wiped out I I just couldn't think anymore so after the test my dad took me to go get kava and then I came home and I think I just like watched YouTube videos for the rest of the night and I was so happy because the next day I only had one class and then the next two days after that both of my professors canceled class so the week of my LSAT I only had class like twice which was really nice it's like they knew that I had my LSAT exam and I didn't want to do any work and for like the level of difficulty there were like some parts of the test where I was like oh my god like what is this like I remember the last games questions I totally guessed on them because it was just such a difficult game and logic games is like my weakest section I I just never understand it it just doesn't click with me like if you give me an untimed section and I can complete all the questions without having a time limit I'm fine but to do like 23 questions in 35 minutes and these games were really difficult I was like I'm just gonna focus on the first couple of games because I knew how to do those and then the last game I just completely guessed on all the questions because I'd rather get like those questions right in the beginning and then just guess on the last questions because I don't want to waste any time so that's what happened I thought reading comprehension was okay it wasn't bad but reading comp is my strongest section so since I had two reading comps I'm not sure which one is actually going to count and which one was the experimental section so I gotta wait until obviously I got my exam back scores come back October 27th which is like a week and a couple days from now so i'm very anxious if i have to retake i decided i'm gonna take in january and just end up applying late because it's already too late to register for november and honestly a month's time isn't gonna really do anything to my score so i rather just take it in january and call it a day i'm praying that i don't need to retake it so if you guys put any good energy out there please do so because i really need all the good Vibes. that is pretty much my testing experience i feel like overall even though i lost connection i did have a better experience compared to like some of my friends so i'm really lucky in that aspect but you guys you just have no idea how happy i am that it's over like that was the one thing that was really weighing on me and like regardless of what happens i took it now i know like what to expect which is good if i have to take it again but I'm just so happy that it's over. You have no idea. I wanted to share this with you guys. I actually picked this up at Ulta like a week ago. This is Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. And this is literally a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's the exact same thing. It makes my makeup look so nice and glowy. It's not a foundation, but it's more of like a skin perfector. And it kind of just evens out your skin tone with giving you like a glow from within. Even though I only have one class today. I think I'm gonna still try and look cute because it feels like fall outside. I'm gonna try and pick out a cute outfit. I feel like lately I've just been wearing like sweat sets to school because I'm only there for like an hour and 15 minutes. I'm like, why am I gonna like waste time? Now that the test is over, I can finally just continue working on my applications and then have those sent in. And before I know it, it's gonna be Thanksgiving and Christmas, which I'm so excited about. Now I'll have way more time to definitely film more videos for you guys. I think I'm just gonna finish my makeup. You guys have seen me do my makeup so many times on camera. I do have my everyday makeup routine on my channel. So I'll link a card right here in case you guys wanna see like a more in-depth tutorial. I'm just gonna get ready off camera and then I'll see you guys once I pick up my outfit. My new obsession, blueberry bagels with cream cheese. It is so good. Now it's only 55, it's gonna be high 61. 
So I don't know what to wear, but these are all the new clothes that I got yesterday. I still need to hang them, but I'm just going to wait until I show you guys what I got later on. I think I'm going to wear this chunky sweater from Misguided. You guys can see, like, I can't even move any of my hangers as everything is just so stuffed in here. This is it laid out so you guys can see better, but I've only worn it like one time. It's from Misguided and I got mine in the smallest size because it is an oversized fit, but it's so cute and super warm too. I'm gonna wear this little bralette under. This is from Zara. I got it like last year. Actually really warm. I think it's wool material. It had matching shorts, but I only got the top because... I probably wouldn't even wear the shorts, but I'll link it if they still have it on the website. Then I bought these jeans yesterday. These are the Levi's 725 high-rise boot cut. I showed these in my last video on my channel. I posted like a fall haul and I got these in a light wash color. And yesterday at the outlets, I picked it up in the shade and they're really cute. Before I put my shoes on, I wanted to show you guys these new slippers that I got from Amazon. I don't have my feet in them because I desperately need a pedicure. But they're so comfortable and super soft. I think they were like $15. And they come in like eight different colors. And they're pretty good quality. I have rubber on the bottom, which is really good. Because I feel like sometimes when slippers and like house shoes don't have that, you kind of like slip and slide everywhere. I'll link them down below in case any of you guys are in need for new slippers. They're so cute and I've been wearing them nonstop. I just got back from the coffee shop. I literally just walked through the door. I'm gonna shower now because I feel pretty gross. It started raining and it was just really cold. And I just wanna like shower and wash my hair. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from the outlet yesterday. So I'm gonna insert like a mini haul in this video. I'm not trying anything on. I'm just gonna show you guys. I picked up so many cute pieces and I wanted to share them with you. I'm gonna start with American Eagle. I love American Eagle. I love their jeans. They're like the only jeans that fit me properly along with like Levi's and Zara. But I picked up this really pretty like mock neck long sleeve it's like a forest green color i absolutely love this color green and then it has like this really pretty like ribbed detailing it's just a really cute shirt and i thought it was like a nice color for fall so i'm super excited to wear this i love mock necks and turtlenecks it's practically what i live in in the fall and winter and i didn't have a shirt this color so i decided to get this one also love cargo pants and i saw these at american eagle and they're just so me they're the highest rise 90s boyfriend pants they're so cute i got a size six of the buttons and they're also like straight legs so that's really nice and instead of having like a zipper it actually has like multiple buttons i feel like this is like a new thing now how many jeans that i've been buying recently just don't have a zipper anymore i don't know how i feel about that because it can be annoying to like take them off and then i went to levi's you guys saw the jeans that i was wearing earlier but they were buy one and get one 50 percent off so I decided to get these. These are the 501 original high-rise fitted through hip and thigh straight leg jeans. It's literally a mouthful, but I thought these were super cute. And again, instead of a zipper, it just has like the buttons going all the way up. These fit me a little bit baggy, but I actually like that because I don't like jeans that are super tight. I got them in a size 28 by 32. Usually I'm like a 27 and a half to 28 waist size. So, and these are like super stiff. So you definitely have to like wear them in. You guys know, like they sell like jeggings now, but these are like real denim. So I definitely have to stretch them out. And the last store that I went to is Arrow Pastel, Arrow Postal, whatever you guys want to call it. So funny because I have not shopped there since like 2014 like bethany moda my sister wanted to go in and i actually found some cute stuff picked up these trouser pants trousers are like so in this fall and i love these they're just like a plain black pair but they're like a relaxed fit i don't know i just thought they were super cute and i felt like it could be like a staple for the fall and then i just decided to pick up these basic long sleeves for the winter these are like super good for layering for buy one get two free so i got this like really pretty plum eggplant color and i also just got black and white because i feel like you can never have enough plain basics and i really like them because like i said they're super thin and they're really good for layering in the winter that's all i got from the outlets but i also picked up two new pair of shoes because i felt like i needed like casual boots for the fall all the boots that i have are either uggs which obviously like aren't really dressy they're just more for comfort and then boots like a bigger heel but i didn't have any that were like shorter or just more casual so i ordered two pairs from nordstrom the first pair that i got are these black ones they're from a brand called bp i've never heard of them before but they were on sale 
for $79 and I thought they were really cute and I was really shocked when I got them. The quality is so good and they're actually really comfortable. And I also like how they're not flat, just like for some extra support. I think they do like one and a half inches, but they're really easy to slip on and off, which I like. I wanted to get like slip on shoes so I don't have to worry about like lacing them. I do have a pair of docks that I got last winter, but those were just like so annoying having to like lace them on and off. So I thought these were really good for just like everyday wear. And I had to get nude ones for when I wear like more neutral tones, like browns and oranges and rust colors. So I saw these from Steve Madden and I actually decided to get these because I watched Michelle read on YouTube and she like raves about these boots. Now I understand why they're just the perfect fall shoe and again these are just like slip on and these definitely have a bigger heel than the black ones i just showed you but i really like them i think they're super cute came in this tan color more of a chocolate brown a black and i think one more shade i don't remember if you guys are in need of new fall boots i'll link them down below and if i can find what i got from the outlets online i'll also link that that's all i got right now i'm gonna shower wash my hair do all that and then i need to finish this study guide that i was working on at the coffee shop i have a midterm on sunday so i really need to do that it's like a two hour test so i need to make sure that i study really well so once i shower i'm just probably gonna work on that for the rest of the night you guys my study guide is already 16 pages and i'm not even done i still have i think two or three chapters left i actually don't know what i'm going to do for this exam so the study guide i'm making is for my management information system class so it's really about like it computers and like the business side of things so this class is actually completely online so i'm basically teaching myself with like lecture slides and reading from the textbook sorry if you can hear my mom in the background but it's a really easy class so far it's just a lot of information and my exam i think is 60 questions i get two hours from it but he explicitly said don't rely on your textbook because it is open book so i'm just making like this study guide slash outline to refer to during the exam i'm gonna study from it and then probably make some like quizlet flashcards to help me because i feel like a lot of the materials like definitions and like textbook based stuff hopefully it's not too bad i'm just gonna take it on sunday because it's the last day that we can take it and i want to study as much as possible i still need to do my skincare routine and i have like mascara on underneath my eyes i literally just got out of the shower and just started doing this right away because i want to finish it i'm gonna do my skincare routine in a little bit prep my bag for tomorrow pick out an outfit because i have class at nine in the morning so i don't like doing that in the morning because then i feel super rushed so that is what my night is pretty much looking like i'm gonna call it a night it's 10 30 i'm getting really tired so i'm just gonna go to sleep honestly haven't been doing anything but watching youtube videos and that time of the month is coming so i'm not feeling that well and i have to wake up really early so i'm gonna end up the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this college day in my life i'm so happy to be vlogging again it feels so nice to like update you guys on what's going on in my life i don't know i find it like kind of therapeutic if you guys enjoy definitely like this video and subscribe because it really helps me out and grow my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video